Hi, welcome to Catch a Can DIY with Gail. I'm Gail, and this is the cool new masks we're giving out in Catch a Can. You can get your mask at the library, Eagle. at City Hall, Eagle. at Ports and Harbor, Eagle. at the Plaza, Eagle. the White Cliff Building, the Rec Center, the Saxman IRA Building, Eagle. and the North Tongass Fire Department. Today, because they're white, and when I see white, I see something that needs to be decorated. Welcome to my table with my grandchildren who are going to help me decorate masks today. Okay. We'll check back in with you in just a little bit. The kids had an absolute ball with this craft. As you can tell at our table, it gets very, very noisy. So we'll just put a couple of snapshots in here for you. Enjoy. Allergies going crazy? Yes. Oh, good job, Ray. Wow. Yeah, that might be the best one to use yet, is that one. That tight. And the table is not helping my shape. Dang. I finished. I was Cal. Look at mine. Kelvin's using markers to color on his because we found the tape, the paint was oh, just no, a gonna, little bit too hard for him to squirt. Oh, Rory, that's beautiful. Uh, Ray's black beautiful. is almost out. All right. Good job, you guys. Hey, Grandma. Okay, thank you. Hey, it's been a couple of days since I had the grandkids at the table painting masks. If you take a look, I'll show you what we did. We used this dimensional fabric paint, and I will tell you, I will have two grandchildren who will be suffocating. These are their masks, and you cannot breathe through them at all. But check this out. Let me follow me up here. Great Halloween mask. So, you know, we'll have to figure out something so we can breathe too. <laughs> so, the dimensional paint. As long as you went light and uh, small amounts of it, it worked out really nice. This one was Calvin's. He used a little bit of marker on his. And then over here is Rory's. She did just a basic cat design, which worked out really well. And as you can see, it does not go through. Very, very little came through. Um, and the, even on these that... Um, would suffocate you really he ran it through the paint that didn't come through it did not come through so I was surprised by that but like I said using small amounts of the dimensional paint works very very well it does take several days to dry and there is a small odor now over here I have fabric markers um, I use those on here they worked out really well. Uh, you're able to control them um, and they don't smell. There, there was no smell whatsoever. They dried very quickly. So if you get some of these masks from the city um, or um, one of the other places that's listed there to pick them up, have fun decorating them. I love coming out and seeing everybody's masks. Yeah, that's why I'm looking at you, because you have some really cool masks. All right, you guys. Thanks for checking it out and mask up, and we'll see you soon at the library. Bye-bye. Our friend Shauna also decorated a mask using felt tip markers. Once it was dry, she said it did not smell. You'll note that these masks are a little big for the children. You can use small rubber bands on the ear um, doohickeys, and it will make them fit much better on the kiddos. Thanks.